Yes, in this learning, we will explore more variable types. And I am typing here one variable name, inexp. So this is uh, the variable which I want to use uh, to record my expenses in India. So on my Indian visit, I want to record this. And here I want the data to be in rupees and not in dollars. So I have to define custom currency here. And if we see here, SPSS gives us one, two, three, four, five. Five options that we can have five currencies in one data file. So I am trying to use CCA, right? And one important thing is that when you talk of custom currency, it means this is the currency which is according to your requirement. It is tailor-made, right? It is very interesting. It is very exciting to be able to use some custom currency, right? But it is it requires a lot of effort. The one good way to set up custom currency is to run syntax. So good idea is go to file, go to new and go to syntax. And you open this syntax window. And I have tried it already and I have saved it for myself that currency to set up currency command you need to run this this command right so i am pasting this in the syntax i have already tried it it is set set the cca which i showed you already the first currency and it has three parameters in it so there is opening command comma minus sign comma rs comma and then dot and then this command closes right so i can run this selection and it executes this command and i can close this command now and i may not save this one for it the time being and then i go back to my data file and I go to custom currency and you see CCA has now been set up as rupees. So I did it through syntax. This is a good idea to use the custom currency and set it up through the syntax command. Okay, now let us go to the data view. And this is Indian expenses. I just type that expenses are 45,600 travel expenses and I press enter and here if we are into the so I go into the data view and I see 45,600 but somehow it does not show me show me the rupee sign right I should see rupee sign here the reason is that I am using this variable with the width of it and there is not enough space there to display rupees. So I kind of increase the width of the variable to 16 for example just to be on safe side and I go back to the data view and here it shows me rupees 45,600 right. Now I suppose I enter 50,000 without any commas or something. I just press enter and you see the effect. Look it, here it shows rupees 50,000, right? So this is custom currency. So to set up custom currency, you run a syntax, right? And uh, if you want to set up another custom currency, right, where you can uh, have uh, the money in euros or uh, any pounds for example you can set up the custom currency in the same way 
let us try one more variable type here and i want to record my us visit expenses so i want dollar sign so i type the us expense as variable name press tab and i pick dollar as the dollar as the variable type so i have many options i how i want to display the dollar values i think the best way to explain display it as uh, this one i pick the third one here or i should say it is fourth one actually click ok and then i go to the i go to the data view and in ux expenses i typed just 1000 and i press enter and you see it automatically inputs dollar sign in front of the dollar value and it uses comma as grouping separator and it uses dot as decimal separator so this is this is the effect of dollar dollar variable type so in this uh, learning we ex explored custom currency and dollar thank you